Hey there and welcome to the ADK Rock and Metal channel and today we are looking at album stroke EP reviews. Uh, I of course am Dave, there is no Andy or Kirk with me, they're off doing their own album reviews for the channel, We've, well, this is the way we work it. So it depends on the genre, it gets split between the three of us depending on your type, so rock, classic metal, stuff like that will be over to me uh, and kind of alternative rock. Uh, punk, that sort of thing. Uh, if it's the more extreme stuff, it'll be to Kirk, and if it's doom and death, it's over to Andy. So today we're going to be checking out a band called Drenched. Uh, we have a four-track EP called Grey coming out on the 23rd of August. Uh, they are listed as alternative rockers. So we have got a press release. I'm going to look at the press release at the end because actually what I like to do is just literally get the title, get the details, and just find out what they're definition is so alternative rockers but i don't like to read anything else i like to go into the uh, ep or album pretty much with just open ears and just see what we have um so yeah it's a four track ep we consists of four songs called uh the change uh cycles uh insane and tonight uh and at the end of it we'll be giving you it's a we kind of have four categories for our uh ratings and i'll go through those at the end of what we thought so i'm not going to go into massive details about each and every song because you're going to get that when you actually listen to the ep album but i really liked going into this with the uh with the change you've got this kind of really interesting middle eastern kind of vibes going out over the intro uh really passionate vocals uh, at the kind of 140 mark, it kind of kicks in with this really cool groove, which I really liked. Uh, and it's got an attitude in that particular track that kind of grows on you, which is very cool. So I really appreciated that. Cycles, it's a bit of a slow burner. Um, it is full of passion and emotion, but it takes a little bit of time for you to kind of get into it. Uh, but does showcase uh, the vocals. Uh, it is very similar though in vibe in its kind of vibe to change. So, I mean, you could literally almost call them part one, part two, in my my opinion when I listen to it. Insane has kind of a late 90s new metal vibe. A little bit of funk in there, a little bit of prog elements as well. Nice little harmonies. Uh, and tonight for me, when you listen to the, the final track on the EP tonight, it's, as soon as I heard it, I was getting this incubus kind of vibe. And that kind of really summarized it. I mean, this is a band where there were two, main influences I could hear on this band and that would have been uh, a perfect circle or tool if you like but I would say a more a perfect circle than tool tools just the more well known uh incubus would be the other one and from the 90s new metal things you'd be looking at bands like uh stained uh there's a band called orgy that also had a little bit of influence in there uh and there's even Richard Patrick from filter I could hear kind of like that, his kind of tonality as well in there. So yeah, I thought they were really, really obvious, uh, but very, very cool inspirations for this band. The summary overall is they're kind of an alternative new metal band in a vibe, uh, really good production, uh, really well thought out tracks and great overall performances throughout. So there wasn't really anything that sort of made me go, oh, that's not good. Uh, there wasn't anything though in the same breath that made me go, oh my God, I'm blown off my feet. There, there, is, there isn't anything I haven't heard before, but what they do is they do very, very, they do it very, very well. And we know these bands like A Perfect Circle and Tool, et cetera, are not gonna be around all the time. So you do need, if that's your sort of thing, this is definitely an album that you're gonna like. Okay, so we need to score it. But before we actually get to the scoring of this particular uh, album or EP, we need to read the press release and then we can go into that. So first of all, I need the press release. Um, maybe if I click my fingers. Oh, there we go. Right, so here we go. This is the from Sam PR. Uh, wonderful guys over there. Let's have a look. Now, I am going to call out PR companies if I think they're talking bollocks because they p press releases are always full of uh, over exaggerations. But uh, I do like it when they're a little bit more honest. Uh, let's have a look. We have okay, so Drenched, emerging heavy alternative rockers, kind further with their new single and debut EP. So this is debut EP. That's very good for a debut. UK newcomers Drench continue to rise and are loaded with their Tarion debut EP Grave coming on Friday the 23rd of August. The, heavy, the Northern Heavyweights will also release new single and video cycles which will arrive on Friday the 16th of August, i.e. today when I'm filming this. Unleashing a potent... Open, uh, 
Unleashing a potent sound that draws from grunge, new metal, and edgy modern rock. Didn't really hear the grunge thing in there. I heard the new metal though. Drenched have crafted a brand of progressive alternative rock that emits everything from emotive and intimate ballads to full throttle savage barnstormers. With combined influences draining from Deftones. I heard, well, I haven't heard that in their music. Loathe. Okay. Tool, yes. Seven Dust, no. Drenched have an impressive depth of adaptability and solid musicianship at their disposal and are ready to strike out to hit the upper, upper echelons, echelons of the UK scene. Hailing from Newcastle, England, uh, Drenched were formed in 2020. The band, however, have only really set when bassist Mark Wilson joined the ranks, which allowed vocalist Mark Mitchell to concentrate solely on vocals, so obviously vocal uh, uh, vocalist bass player this french dimension has massively helped with the writing and live performance aspects of the band now with callum to on uh guitar and back vocals and mike essary rounding off the four piece on drums drenched are poised to take their music every anywhere and uh, everywhere a recent string of successful shows and tours throughout the north of england and scotland including a recent sellout uh, and newcastle has only even four drenches growing reputation very good their name will be further amplified with the release of their incoming debut ep grave ep ideally showcases the man's stimulating fusion of compelling and groove filled riffery uh, all adaptively fortified with appear appealing vocal passages offering up four formed well oh, four fully formed slabs of brawny and powerful alternative <laughs> rock drenched rive is rise is imminent the industrious riff givers will announce further UK short shows this summer. Stay glued to their socials for details. There we go. That's from Sam PR. To be honest, not a bad press release. Uh, no overabundances of trying to bullshit the the, the PR or the press uh, by saying they are groundbreaking, shaking the foundations of the industry and all that crap that they come out with. Um, it actually seems to be pretty well structured and honest uh, i do like an honest press release so there we go that was drenches press release now we need to score this band we have four four categories we have are they headliners which means it's a fucking blinding album it should be headlining festivals are they main support are they openers or should they get back to the rehearsal studio so for this particular uh, ep i am going to score it <laughs> Uh, I'm going to give it a main support. I think it's a really good, uh, especially as a debut, it's got lots of huge potential for this particular band to carry on going up there. Um, that specific factor that you're looking for, I don't want to use the word, but I'm going to have to say the X factor. But if you're looking for that key thing that's going to take you to make you step out from the rest of the group, that's not quite there. That's what we need for the headliner part. And also it's an EP. So um, I have to think if I was listening to eight or eight to 12 tracks of this, I would have to see some serious variation of it in a full album form. But as a, as a debut EP, it's very, very strong. Um, so yeah, they are getting a rating of a main support from us here over the ADK Rock and Metal channel. Now, if you enjoyed our video today, please do like, share and subscribe, and I'll see you on another video sometime very, very soon. Take care.